So uh, we're using the uh, the new Tesla, the new um, oscillators, and uh, this is basically the control box. And you've got uh, one oscillator here on one side, and then right next to me on the other side, I've got another one here. Now this is the larger one. This is going to throw off um, up to 200,000 hertz of uh, energy. And uh, we have this little green unit right here, which you can see, well, if it's outside, it's not lit up. But you'll see as I get it over here, this thing is brightly lit. So this basically is telling you that you're in here and you're energizing the cells, energizing the body to its uh, cellular level, getting all the uh, energy in here to get the cells operating at their maximum efficiency. John. Hey. How you doing, brother? Good, good. So, um, so I'm in here. I'm using the machine. Um, give us a little breakdown on, on the new technology that's here. Yeah, so uh, this is a multi-wave oscillator, and uh, some people know the inventor as uh, Lavakovsky out of uh, Russia, but in reality, this is Nikola Tesla technology. Mm -hmm. People will say, oh, Baxter, you don't know what you're talking about. This is Lakovsky. <laughs> it's not. You know, you look at the oldest pictures of Nikola Tesla, the machine he's sitting behind is this machine. As is one of his first machines when right. he's going like this. So it's really a, a Tesla technology. Another guy ran with it, kind of got some notoriety. Uh, same with a lot of these inventors. It all goes back to the guy that kind of created radio and created the AC current. Um, so these are the technologies that will help increase your millivolts. So right now as a healthy individual, for the most part, my cells are at 70 millivolts. Okay. Uh, non-grounded. So non-grounded individual that's he healthy is 70 millivolts. I have to say that because there's two different views. But in actuality, when we get older, our millivolts lower. Um, a 70 plus year old man's going to run around 35 millivolts, which is about half of a healthy human. And a person with cancer is running about 15 millivolts really wow. well. So this machine strengthens cells on an individual level, and when you use the machine in consist with being consistent, uh, you can start strengthening the entire body, start strengthening much more cells. So this is very much like working out. The, the more times you use it, the, the stronger you get. And if you have a situation like cancer, you know that jump start. Right for that for that 10 minute period, you've jumped your cells a lot higher, and in, in essence, uh, spun off some of the the bad cancerous cells and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, this machine's extremely powerful, mm -hmm. so that's why you can only use it twice a day for up to 10 minutes. Uh, we have our uh, smaller technology, the little paddles, those go from zero to a hundred hertz. Okay. Uh, this particular machine goes from a uh, thousand hertz to two hundred thousand hertz. Two hundred thousand hertz. That yeah. is off the chart. Yeah. So if you want to get something instant, this is the machine. You don't have to spend a lot of time. You know, even some of the people here uh, have bought this machine mm -hmm. here. I've seen everything from better vision to, you know, a, a lot of amazing situations with this machine. Right. So it's still safe, uh, a safe machine. If, if you're running into issues and you don't have answers to your most difficult problems and you went everywhere, this is a good machine to start with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is the second time I've used it. I really noticed a pickup in my energy. You know, once I got up and started moving around yesterday when I when I got on it for the first time, and 200,000 hertz, that is really, I, you would, I don't feel it per se when I'm in here, so it's not like you're, you know, you can feel the energy, and obviously we've got the green test strip, right, that lights up the thing, so you can see that you're in that energy wave, or that energy ball, I should say, right? And yesterday, me and Lenny were kind of messing around with it, and we could lift the thing within like still 12 inches up and above and around are still in that sort of energy ball that's emanating from from this particular mm -hmm. unit right here. So even though this is the actual unit, you know, it's still, you know, it's still pulling. Yeah, so you'll see it's probably better on this side because uh, one is more of a... Yeah. This is, this is about four feet away right there. Right. 
you know, as you go up above it. You but know, it's like, it, you, and you're feels. you're a good two to three feet above it, and you're still getting a lot of energy coming off of it. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's super cool. That's super yeah. cool. So now, um, I I still have a minute. Do you, can you? Is there a timer behind me? On the thing? You've probably got a right now. Let's look right here. It appears you have four minutes left. I got four minutes left. So this is set up on a timer system. So when you turn it on and run it, it's automatically doing the 10 minutes. So you don't have to worry about whether you... Yep, and it, it does a buzz. Mm -hmm. It does a buzz noise to start. You hit a run button to start the timer. Mm -hmm. That will turn the machine on after 10 minutes and makes that noise to make sure you turn it off. Right. You don't want to leave it constantly running. So after it's done, after the 10 minutes is over, it'll make that annoying alarm clock noise, turn it off at that point. Or yeah. if someone else wants to use it in the line, hit the red button again, it'll turn it back on and give you another 10 minutes. Right. So super excited. You know I'm here because we, you got all the new technology now. I need to get in front of it. And um, if you don't mind, what I'm going to do is I'll shut this down early and get out of the chair, even a minute or two early. Because I want to just go over and look at the, the other one, the smaller yeah. version. Let's do it. And let's do yeah. it right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks.